Hello, I am Dane and it is October 4th, 2012 and I am in my apartment in Minneapolis, Minnesota getting ready to head back down to Nashville and finish recording the CD. Started recording in March 2012 and so I think we're going on what seven or eight months or something of that sort. This has definitely been the longest time I've ever spent on an album and uh, pretty happy with taking the time um, to actually uh, complete it and not just rush into it and try and finish music just to release it. Um, yeah, it's been a very slow process. It started out with uh, us, uh, Brandon and I, going down in March and I think we tracked about six or seven songs and um, from there I ended up keeping I think four of them, maybe five, and uh, then came back up here, took a little break, went back down there, finished a the song, kind of the same process and I've been doing the same thing for the last you know, six months, just come back up here, write for a while. Go back down there, finish writing, record, and uh, yeah, right now we're at about, oh, we are at, I am at, uh, seven songs, and looking to finish three more over the next few weeks, and have ten songs for the release, Show Me Tomorrow. So CD started out with uh, me and Brandon going down in March, and we spent about three weeks down there. Uh, and yeah, did some recording and then came back and from there it was kind of, well, it was just me going back and forth, um, due to financial obligations and it just getting pretty expensive to constantly go back and forth. And, um, so Brandon kind of, he was down there in March and he wasn't able to really come back and finish and write. And so unfortunately that kind of got to a point to where he just didn't really feel connected with the CD and which is completely understandable and um, so I think it was in August where we just decided that it'd be best we just parted ways and he does his own thing I do my own thing and um, yeah we're, it worked out really good we're still friends still hang out and um, he's really happy doing what he's doing now and I'm uh, very happy doing what I'm doing now and so, yeah, started the CD with two people, and we'll be ending it with one, and um, that's where I'm at now. Now it's just me. Solo artist. With a name. Uh, mm. God, I love drinking straight vodka. <laughs> Eric, come on! <laughs> Eric the Pig has been a pretty important member of the uh, Fantasyland family since we moved down there. Uh, we got him in February. I was picking up a ping pong table uh, about an hour away from our place and thought we saw a pig in the next yard running around and got to talking and my roommate Brooks said that he had a pig before and I don't know he made some bad decisions that day and decided to look on Craigslist and uh, I think it was about 10 in the morning and by about 6 we were on our way to Kentucky two and a half hours away to pick up Eric and um, so a lady dealt us a pig in a McDonald's parking lot we put him in the car we took him home and yeah, it was really great. It was, a, it was a great moment. We walked in the house and showed Brooke the pig that we just drove um, five hours to go and get. And uh, yeah, he was really small. He was really cute. And um, then he grew up. And uh, now he's he's nine months old. And I mean, for a while, he was, he was doing great. We had him litter box trained. and. He could roam around the house, but then, then his litter started to smell really bad, like uh, like really bad, and the house started to smell like pig. So then we decided to try and move him outside, 
Um, he uh, actually built him a pig pen, and uh, he tore that to shit. Uh, there's no grass left in that pig pen, and now we gotta sod the yard because we're renting a house. Um, and so then from there, we decided to just let him roam around outside. We have two acres, and he just basically we just let him out, and he just goes. And uh, we weren't really sure what he did all day until we found out that he would basically go to every single neighbor looking for food because that's all pigs care about. They only want food. Um, so he'd go to one neighbor, they'd feed him. He'd go to the next neighbor, he'd feed him. Well, everyone loved him except for one neighbor who he'd go to his, some kind of tree or bush or something like that that was special to that guy and he'd start eating from it. Well, that guy ended up telling one of our neighbors that if the pig came back, he's going to poison him. Um, the neighbor that heard that told the guy that he was going to shoot him if he did that. And then um, our neighbor Terry also said that he would shoot the guy if he poisoned him. So it turned into uh, an interesting situation um, with you know 99% of the neighbors liking him and then the one that hates him. Um, he also started going on the road, which started to get dangerous. And um, so then we tried putting him back in the house. He, uh, he would just scream and cry all day. And uh, yeah, he just kind of became a little bitch to sum up. And, uh, and we started realizing that he was pretty much just using us for food. He didn't really, he didn't ever want to talk or hang out with us or you know, spend time with us. He just wanted food. And as an owner, that kind of gets depressing because you know, we want to play with the pig. That's what we bought him for. We, we thought he was going to be a little dog. And though he kind of is, at the same time, he definitely is not because he's a pig. And um, so, yeah, over the last couple weeks, just kind of realized he's, he's been ripping up the house. He's been just getting into all sorts of mischief. So I think we've decided that we've probably had enough of Eric and found him a, a nice little family that lives pretty close to us that's actually looking for a pet pig that has a lot of acreage and a um, little farm. And so I think we're going to send him off to the little pig farm down the road and let him live with the family down there. Uh, obviously we would have kept him if we, if we can't find anybody, um, but I think eventually we're going to be moving out of our place so it just makes sense to get him a place where he can run around and uh, you know, hopefully not get poisoned by people. So that's Eric. He's kind of a pain in the ass. We're, uh, we're washing Eric the dirty pig. He's filthy right now. As you can see from our yard. I want to hose him right now, but... I don't Get out of there! Alright, hook him up. Do this. This is the first pig ho hose down. A hogwash. Hogwash. <laughs> they put it on the, like, the spray. There's the victim. I got it on this. My, Eric? Uh, I don't know how... How come that 60 foot leash I bought has turned into 12? Hey! <laughs> He's got someone's toilet paper. <laughs> Eric! Look at him. Eric! <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> you need the paper. <laughs> Not all that That's gonna be good for the shit. Don't do it! Eric! Eric, don't do it! Don't do it! You got a reason to live! Watch the cat. Give me that. Get over here. Watch the cat. I'll trade you Cheerios. <laughs> Don't post that on YouTube. <laughs> You'll have all the animal activists up your ass. <laughs> he doesn't care. <laughs> yeah, we can just yeah. hose him down. Put him on put it on spray though. <laughs> no, it's gotta get off. No, don't do that. It's not coming off him otherwise. See? It yeah, doesn't yeah. come off. You just gotta get him up nice and close. He runs away. He doesn't really care. <laughs> <laughs> he's getting cleaner. Yeah, he's, he's getting a little washed down. <laughs> I think that's too intense for him. Yeah. <laughs> Although I wasn't gonna oh my god! <laughs> it's too here. fun though. Here, let me, let me hose him with <laughs> Hold on, I got him, don't worry. He he's got just gotta get away from all this Watch the, the roast. <laughs> All right, close your eyes, Eric. <laughs> <laughs>
See, he's just not gonna get it off his nose. Yeah. But oh. he doesn't care. No, he doesn't. He likes the water. Watch that. I actually got him pretty clean. <laughs> Being busy. Eric. Here, I'll let him come down here. Eric, come here. Come on. Come on, pal. We gotta get, especially your face. Here. 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 Careful. Come on. Eat that one. Here, take right. Now get this one. Here. Come on. I'm right there. <laughs> Alright, get him to get a cheer. He doesn't really care. No, nah, he, he likes the water. Here. Here. We gotta get you good, good and clean. <laughs> That's gonna make him. Yeah. Oh, geez. Dude, he doesn't care. Yeah, that's my gin and tonic, though. Hold on. <laughs> he, he doesn't love it, but he, do, he doesn't. He doesn't hate it either. Here, yeah, he wants more. Here, we need to. I need like a little handful of water to wash his nose off. Don't eat that. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you're almost you done. Just him when he's over there. Like, well, yeah, I need to get his like, face. That's the thing. We gotta towel him off and well, get him inside as soon as he, Yeah, no, I think he's fine. He's fine. <laughs> he puts his his <laughs> eyes go in mud. No, that, he doesn't that, like that no. That, that, he doesn't like that. He's all right. Where's the spray? He's pretty clean though. Yeah, he's not bad. He's doing good. Come here, Eric. You want some more Cheerios?